we got some work to do. We definitely have some work on our hands. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RM Garage. So the other day, I bought something. I found this camper shell, and <laughs> ignore the backyard, I'm sorry guys, I need to take care of that. It's very obvious, it's overgrown, need to mow it. Um, so the other day I found this four innovator camper shell on Facebook, and I thought it was super cool. It looks like a forerunner top, and I really wanna make this thing work, but as you can see here, the cab angle is different between my camper shell and my cab. So actually the extra cab has a 10 degree cab angle where a standard cab would have a four degree cab angle. So we're working with a little bit of, uh, you know, like a six degree cab difference here, which is making this thing not meet up. So my plan was, and you can't really see it, but this used to have a rubber seal that would mount up to the cab here. My plan is to head to the junkyard today and try to find a window that will fit right in this area that I can maybe um, bond to the camper itself. And then after that window's in there, I'm thinking that we're gonna try to actually fiberglass the gap and make it look a little bit better. So let's head out to the junkyard and see what we can find. We're taking the SS today. It is way more comfortable and has way better AC. All right guys, well, we're on our way to the junkyard right now and I just wanted to bring something up. So in the past 30 days, the channel's had 15,000 views. That's amazing. But the one thing that I noticed is that some, some crazy amount, like 60% of the views, are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed and you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. Well, we're here. Let's see if we can find what we need. You know what guys, I actually don't even know how much a, uh, a back window weighs on a truck, so hopefully they don't weigh a lot and the fiberglass can support it when I try to bond it to it. We just got in here and look what they have for sale. This is a pretty nice uh, second gen 4Runner here, let's see how it looks on the inside. Oh, it's all locked up. They don't let you look, but maybe we can see in there. Nope. But anyway, with the price of Toyotas nowadays, $25.99 isn't that bad. Is it four-wheel drive? It's a two-wheel drive. Well, that's why it's so cheap, but they have the same frame as the four-wheel drive, so actually a two-wheel drive might be a pretty good builder when you're only looking to uh, cut everything off and straight axle it anyway. It's not bad. It's pretty clean. Weird roof rack, just notice that. Look at that roof rack. What in the world? The things some people do to cars is insane. So when I was walking up to the entrance of the junkyard, this guy stops me in a wheelchair and he goes, hey, can you help me put my wheelchair in the back of my truck? Of course I said yes, why would I ever say no to that? So I pick up the wheelchair and the wheel falls off. And I was like, hey dude, the wheel fell off your wheelchair. And he goes, oh, that's totally normal. Just throw everything in the back. Seems pretty unsafe. What if that thing comes off when he's pushing himself down the street? <laughs> I've looked at the back window of a couple of these things now, and I guess I just really never noticed how, uh, how small a Toyota truck is compared to a full-size truck. A lot of these things have a 60 inch plus rear window and the Toyota is only 52 or like 53 inches wide at the widest point so let's keep looking and see if we can find something that might fit but it's not looking too good so the window off this Jeep would actually fit pretty well from uh, the widest point to the widest point it is about 54 inches wide and the top is around 46 so that would definitely work but you know, it's not a sliding window, so it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't know if I want to put that on the front of the camper shell. So keep looking, see if we can find a sliding window out here. Will it latch? 
Ooh, this one, this one might be a contender. This one's in pretty good shape and it looks like it, you know, has all of the, the rubber seal around it. So we might be able to bond that to the camper shell. Let's take some measurements on this thing and see if it'll fit. <laughs> it's too big. It's too big. Dude. How small are these Toyotas, man? I guess I never realized how small a Toyota pickup is compared to even a mid-sized truck. It's insane. A ridge line. Uh, if I took the rear window out of that thing, Whistling Diesel would come to my house and he'd drop my Toyota from a helicopter, so I'm <laughs> not gonna risk it. Man, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Uh, we just found this Nissan Frontier. It's not a Frontier, it's a Nissan truck. A D21 or whatever these things are called. Um, it has a camper shell on it, but the rear window looks like it'll work. And the latching mechanism is also good. So I'm gonna have to take off this camper shell to get into this thing, but let's do it. All right, guys, this is the one. This one's totally gonna work and it comes out just like a Toyota comes out. So you just pry it out of there. And since it's so damn hot outside, the rubber's really soft and this thing will just come right out. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this thing out of here and go pay for it and get it fitted up to the camper. See if my plan will work. I had to loosen the brake light that's on the roof or whatever the hell that thing is. And uh, they fastened it on there with Torx bits, which is super weird but um, it's, it's kind of, it's smashing the seal up against the cab, so I had to move it out of the way. Woo! Well, that was the easiest window I've ever pulled out of a car in my life. Uh, only took four minutes to get that thing out of there. It's unbelievable. So this thing is about 55 inches 55 and a quarter on the bottom and the top is around 46 and From top to bottom we got 16 inches here. So this thing will definitely work um, the seals kind of torn up, but Can probably order a new one if necessary, but either way this will definitely at least fit for the most part up to the camper shell and then and then we can see if uh, this whole thing will work out and we could bond this window to the camper shell. All right, let's go pay for this thing. It's hot out there. All right, well, we're $352 in total into the camper build now. The camper itself was $300 and the, um, the, what did I just buy? The this window. vehicle is connected by OnStar to limited services. <laughs> that was, that was random. And the window was 52 bucks. So we're $352 into this thing in total. Hopefully we can get that window all mounted up. So let's go ahead and see, see if it works. All right, so this is supposed to go there. What do you guys think? I haven't actually tried to fit it on there yet. I don't know if it'll just go right into that hole. I would be literally shocked if it just fit into the existing hole. But as long as it's close, and we're gonna have to take that sticker off, that is not staying on there. But if this thing even gets relatively close to fitting in there perfectly, I'll be shocked. I'm expecting to have to do some work on it, so let's see what we're working with here. God damn. 
So it is gonna take a little bit of work to get this thing to fit up the way that I want it to. You can see that it's sitting behind the mounting surface right now, just so I could kind of get a picture of how it'll look. I'm working by myself right now. I don't have any help available to line this thing up, but for the most part, it is fitting up to the corners. Uh, it's a little short, but we can fill the gap with, um, you know, some sort of sealant or rubber or something like that. So when it's actually in there, and it's hard to do it by myself, guys, but when it's actually in there, it sits pretty damn near flush where I need it to be, especially when it's actually on um, the right side of the camper shell. So very minimal work that's gonna be required to get this thing to fit, and I'm overall pretty happy with it, and I think this is gonna turn out great. I mean, it kind of looks like whoever owned this thing before started cutting at it too with some sort of tool. You see those jagged edges right there in the fiberglass. So if I need to modify this to fit the window better, that's totally fine. Uh, we'll just do some fiberglass work to get this thing to uh, mount where we want it to go. Someone's already shooting off fireworks. And once we get this camper shell finished and all fixed up, stay tuned for the truck bed uh, storage system build out. So we're gonna build some drawers back here and maybe a sleeping platform and get this thing a little bit more uh, camp ready. So. It's a crawler, also a camper. We basically want this thing to be able to, to, to do everything that we want to do with it outdoors. So stay tuned. <sighs> we got some work to do. We definitely have some work on our hands. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this new style of video that I tried, kind of a more vlog style approach, please let me know in the comments below. And also, if you have any ideas for the camper shell, also let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.